Erwin Data Intelligence Suite, Getting Started with Metadata Manager. Creating and Managing Environments. Metadata is stored and categorized into systems and environments. Multiple environments are contained in a system. Environments can denote a database, flat file, data models, etc. Environments contain database objects like tables, views, synonyms, etc. You can create environments under a system and scan metadata from a data source by providing connection parameters in the environment. Creating and managing environments involves creating environments, assigning users, managing environments, updating sensitivity, viewing sensitive data dashboard, uploading documents, cloning environments, viewing ER diagrams, viewing workflow logs, associating environments, configuring business properties, and configuring expanded logical name. Getting started with Metadata Manager. Click on the main menu icon to access Erwin Data Intelligence Suite modules. Go to Data Catalog. Select Metadata Manager. You can harvest or scan metadata from data sources in the Metadata Manager. Creating a new environment. The System Catalog pane is where all your systems are listed. Metadata Summary shows lists of all systems and respective details. Environments can denote a database, flat file, data models, etc. Environments contain database objects like tables, views, synonyms, etc. Right-click on System and select New Environment option to create a new environment. The New Environment window appears. Provide environment name and other mandatory details. Click the drop-down to select the database type. Enter appropriate values in the fields. Fields marked with a red asterisk are mandatory. Refer to the following table for field descriptions. Select your data source type from the list of connectors available. Select database type from drop-down. Provide the JDBC driver details and required connection parameters to connect to your database. Click on the Test Connection icon to check the connectivity status. Once the connection is successful, click Save. Assigning Users Right-click on Environment and click on Assign User Roles. Assign users and provide them access to the tables and columns in the environment. Assign roles to users to further control access in the environment. Click on Save. Managing the environment. Managing environments involves edit and deleting environments and importing metadata from different data sources. Right-click on an environment and select Edit Environment option. Click on the Miscellaneous tab for details like SDI flag, SDI description, use description, notes related to the environment, and approval instructions. Click on Save. To import an environment, right-click the environment and select Import Environment. Select Schemas and Appropriate Import Metadata Options. Drag and drop or browse .amp files to import an environment. Click on Upload. To export an environment, right-click on Environment and select Export Environment. The environment is exported in .amp format. To delete an environment, right-click on Environment and select Delete Environment. Select Current Version or All Versions to delete. Click on Delete. Update Sensitivity. Click on Data Dictionary. You can update the sensitivity of tables and columns in an environment in bulk. You can also update the sensitivity of the system and environment containing these tables and columns. Marking your technical and business assets as sensitive is an important aspect of metadata management. It is possible to update sensitivity of both technical and business assets. You can select multiple columns or tables in the data dictionary grid and update their sensitivity. Toggle on Sensitive Data Indicator flag to specify classification type. 
Update sensitivity involves marking tables and columns as sensitive with appropriate sensitive data indicator classification. Click on Update. Select Lineage to update sensitivity. You can update the sensitivity of columns in a lineage report. You can also update the sensitivity of tables, environments, and systems containing these columns. Select Mind Map to update sensitivity. You can update the sensitivity of an asset and its associated technical and business assets through a mind map. Business assets refer to business terms, business policies, business rules, and other business assets defined in the Business Glossary Manager. Technical assets refer to columns, tables, environments, and systems. A column can be associated with business and technical assets. Viewing Sensitive Data Dashboard Click on Sensitive Data. Sensitive Data Dashboard is the primary window to gain insights about distribution of sensitive columns across systems and environments. The dashboard helps to discover sensitive columns with their Sensitive Data Indicator SDI, classifications. The dashboard helps to discover sensitive columns with their Sensitive Data Indicator SDI, classifications. Statistics shows the number of sensitive tables and columns across all systems. This chart displays distribution of sensitive columns based on SDI classifications across all the systems and environments. And here, distribution of sensitive columns based on SDI classifications by system and environment in a system. You can use system or environment name to view the number of sensitive columns and tables in a system. By default, it displays a list of all sensitive columns with their SDI classifications across all systems. You can click the required system name, environment name, table name, or column name in the grid to view their details. Uploading Documents Right-click the environment and select New Document to upload documents. Upload documents at the environment level and specify the document name, owner, link, and description. Drag and drop files or select files for upload. Click on Save. Clone Environment Right-click on Environment and select Clone Environment. Clone an environment under a system and use the same or different connection parameters in the cloned environment. The cloned environment will be saved under the system. Click on Save. Viewing ER Diagram Right-click on the Environment and select ER Diagram option. View Entity Relationship ER Diagram after scanning or importing metadata in an environment. Export the ER Diagram in JPEG format here. Workflow Logs Right-click the Environment and select View Workflow option. Current Workflow Log Status of an Environment Users and Roles Assigned to All the Stages of the Workflow Associating Environment Click on Associations to select the Business Asset from the drop-down. You can associate environments with business assets, systems, environments, tables, and at the column level shown here. Configuring Business Properties Right-click the environment and select Advanced Business Properties. You can configure business properties of all the tables and columns in an environment. You can also update business properties of a table and business properties of its columns. Click on Apply and Save. Configure Expanded Logical Name Right-click the environment and select Configure Expanded Logical Name option. Update the expanded logical name for multiple tables or columns by scheduling a configuration job. The job updates expanded logical name based on the table or column name and associated business term. Refer to the following table to understand the parameters and their values. Click on Save. For more information, please visit Irwin.com.